Yeah, Thomas Sutcliffe Mort and his wife Theresa Lavey had a son called Charles. Little Charles is always referred to in the family and he was born in 1848 in Sydney. At age 10 he went to Eton with his older brother, my great-grandfather. Um, their parents thought it was the right thing to do, you know, when you're nouveau and go back to England and do all the right things. Anyhow, the poor little boy um, was bullied, I suppose, what it's called. And he was thrown in the creek at Eton, which is near Whitney, Windsor, and um, got pneumonia and died. And of course, true Victorian times, you're well off things, you have a bus made, um, the death mask made of the poor little boy's body. But at the same time, his father was having his bus made by the same sculptor, Charles Bell Birch, very reputable, well-known, very famous sculptor at the time. Um, and he was made, but he was made while he was alive, of course. And they, his original, this bus now, I have a copy made by Simon, you know, 20, 40 years ago, but his bus is in the State Library, given by the family a long time ago. And I'm hoping to give the little, one of little Charlie, which is beautiful, um, to join his father in time. His sister, Alice, what that was, Alice Atkinson, well, she became, she, her bus, not made by Birch, um, was given by her grandson some years ago, so it means Thomas will have two of his children with him in Marvel at the State Library, sort of there forever. But I love having him here. It looks the same, but it looks different. I can't work out why. Well, slightly the colour. One of them's got a lazy eye. I can't just... <laughs> They're identical twins. The, the only way you can tell one's got a lazy different. eye. The mouth looks different. Oh, a hardener. 